I'm Tammy Stocks. My husband Ralph and I are field personnel serving as the presence of Christ among the Romani people, better known to you as gypsies. In our neighborhood of Eastern Europe, the Romani live on the fringes of society. They are a distinctive ethnic group living within another culture. They have a language of their own, yet they must communicate in the language of Hungary. Life is hard. I'm Sue Smith, and my husband Greg and I serve with the Virginia Baptist Mission Board, and we're also CBF field personnel serving with Latino ministries. In our neighborhood of Virginia, Hispanics or Latinos often live on the margins of society. Even many of our Hispanic brothers and sisters who worship in Virginia Baptist Latino churches. Last summer, these two cultures, different yet in many ways similar, came together in a special way. 14 Virginia Baptist Latino young adults, youth, and leaders from immigrant families spent a week serving alongside Tammy and Ralph in ministry in two Romani villages in eastern Hungary. Before leaving for Hungary, we didn't know what to expect or what challenges, difficulties, or even joys lay ahead for us. But we trusted in God that the Spirit would prepare us and prepare the way for our experience no matter what that experience would be. What an experience it would be. The Romani children were excited and barely able to contain themselves when the two vans arrived in their neighborhood, an area of the village called the Putri. As the doors opened and the Latino group got out, the Roma kids could only stare. They began to whisper, these are Americans? They look like us. How could that be? Instantly, there was a rapport. Though they did not share a common language, there was an understanding, a commonality. The Roma children basked in the attention and soaked up the love that was offered in a hug and a smile. When the guitars came out, the common language of m music crossed the barriers of speech and culture, with songs being sung in Hungarian, English, Romani, and Spanish. As the interactive Bible stories were told, it was with unbridled joy that the children portray portraying the fleeing Israelites followed Pedro, the Latino Moses, through the parted Red Sea, quivering blue tablecloths held by the other team members. During the story of the Good Samaritan, they grew quiet when the banditos robbed the man and the priest and the Levi simply walked by. These children understood what it is to be the one ignored, overlooked on life's highway. But the silence ended and the smiles returned when the Roma children were reminded that God loves them for who they are. For the Latino youth and young adults who traveled to Europe, the experience helped to shape their view of God's global mission and their understanding of their role in it. Most had never even dreamed that they would be able to take part in a mission experience like this one. Participation in missions was for somebody else, for those with more skills or more resources or those from a different background or culture. And now here they were, sharing God's love in Hungary with people who didn't speak either English or Spanish. They quickly learned how to use hand signals to communicate and how to make good use of the interpreters who were helping us. But most importantly, they learned that the hugs and smiles communicate 
better than any language. They communicated the love of Christ through their actions that week. Part of the attraction of these two cultures to one another was the common experience of living as minorities through the language of music and a love for God that was extended and received, they shared for a week a neighborhood that welcomed and accepted them unconditionally, embracing the world, welcome to our neighborhood.